I just got this engine a while ago. I took it apart. It's a 10 horsepower Tecumseh snowblower engine. The problem I had with this motor is that it was knocking. So I couldn't figure out what it was, but I had an idea. So I took the whole thing apart. And here's what the problem was. Is the connecting rod is loose on the crankshaft. It's even loose if you move it sideways. Look at that. It's especially loose sideways. Now if you grab it with your hands and move it in this motion back and forth to see the slack right on the shaft itself, you can see there's loose in there as well. So there was loose all around. First when I took it apart I thought well maybe the bolts are loose but then I realized the whole thing's loose on there even when the bolts are tight. The guy told me that this motor had been rebuilt that it blew a connecting rod, then they replaced it. Now here's another crankshaft here. Now sometimes when you blow a connecting rod, there's going to be residue of aluminum from the rod on the shaft here. And sometimes you have to file that down or sand it down. So what I think's happened is they filed it down way too much. I don't know what they did to it, but the thing is so loose now. If I were to run it a little while longer like that, the rod would have broke and possibly broke the block as well. I'm going to put the rod on this crankshaft to show you that it's good on that shaft there. Now on this shaft here you can see that it's very tight. There's no loose at all. So it makes you wonder so at this point here, I'm not sure if this other shaft is uh, good for much. So I'm just going to keep it anyway, so you never know. Just thought you guys might want to know that. So if your Tecumseh is knocking, uh, there's a possibility that that's the problem.